Okay, today I'll be doing something a bit different. And I'll be learning how to do a Euro mount. So obviously this is a whitetail buck. I've got the, uh, most of the skin peeled off the face. Obviously the lower jaw is gone. I did take most of the brain out through the uh, frame and magnum, I guess that is. Anyway, so um, the way to do this, and this is basically what I've learned from watching videos on, on YouTube and a bit of reading. First step is to boil the skull, and then second step is, well, basically to boil it till it's degreased. Uh, I'll use a power washer to get rid of some of this extra cartilage and, and meat. And then um, basically have it really degreased and then some peroxide cream to bleach it. And the goal will be to have white bone and uh, basically that'll be a Euro mount. So I haven't done this before. I've kind of cleaned up a skull before, but I didn't, um, actually it's in the background there. I didn't end up bleaching it. So this is the other one that I've done before, and I just left it as basically the uh, raw, kind of cream-colored uh, bone. So this will be uh, kind of similar to that, but probably more bleached white. Now to boil it, I don't have a, you know, so what I've seen is people have like basically like um, propane burners or the big pot. I don't have that, but I do have this ultrasonic cleaner. So uh, I'm going to try it, see if it works. The advantage of this is that it does heat up to whatever temperature you want. And then there's the ultrasonic feature as well. Will that help uh, the degreasing? Uh, I'm not sure. Basically, we're going to find out. I'll be doing OxyClean and the Simple Green, basically just because, well, Simple Green is what I normally put in the ultrasonic cleaner. So I'll be doing that, and apparently the OxyClean works well. So I'm just going to throw a bunch in. I don't have any recipes or exact measurement. I'm just going to basically try it, and uh, I'll let you guys know if it works. And one other thing. Apparently, you need to cover up the uh, antlers, uh, definitely when it's getting bleached with the peroxide, but uh, maybe also for when it's getting boiled. So I'll be using this silicone tape, and we'll try that out. I haven't used the silicone tape before, but uh, it seems pretty good. It's probably even reusable. I'm not really sure the best way to use it, but what I'm doing is just... Now it's probably got to be clean. If it gets dirty, I don't think it'll stick to itself very well. But basically, just stretching it on and getting to it to a basically stick to itself. As I drag it across the dirty skull and samurai. All right, I might revise that again later, but even with some deer hair, it seems to be working okay. So as I mentioned, I'm not sure how much of this to put in. And I guess ignorance is bliss, so we'll put that much in. And I did look it up. I think uh, OxyClean and Simple Green can mix. There's nothing bad that happens. So we'll start there. So this ultrasonic cleaner, it just barely holds this deer head. Clearly an elk or a moose. You need quite a lot bigger ultrasonic cleaner. So I'm going to heat it up to 80 degrees Celsius and uh, I plan to have it in for about an hour. 
we'll see. It's going to take quite a while for this water to heat up, but um, I'll run the ultrasonic as well. We'll see how that does. Okay, so it's been in there about an hour. As I mentioned, I was trying to get to 80 degrees. It's actually only up to 60. I probably should have uh, started with warm water, not the uh, freezing cold water I started with. But anyway, um, it is heating up. It has been on the ultrasonic. So let's see what we get. Okay. Well, most likely that's softened up quite a lot. What I'll do next is take the power washer to it and see what I can blast off with the power washer. And then most likely it's going to be back into here for another dip after that. So this is it after some power washing. I have a pretty crummy power washer. It's not very high power. So probably a more powerful power washer would do better. But anyway, it did a decent job. The periostom is off the main part of the skull there. I still have some, uh, some muscle left underneath at the neck there. And uh, I think most of the brain is out that came blasting out, which is actually pretty gross. But uh, anyway, the, uh, it's coming. I'm gonna put it back in the bath uh, and uh, keep letting it uh, soak or simmer, I guess. Try to get it up to 80 degrees with the ultrasonic on. Now, as you can see, that uh, bath and the ultrasonic cleaner has done a pretty good job dissolving out the cartilage, so this will be fairly easy to get rid of. I would like to hit it again with a pressure washer, but it's, uh, I don't know, about minus 15 outside right now, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to come in and kind of manually debride all this stuff, which uh, I don't think will be too much work. Yeah, that's coming off quite easy. So I'll gently just go through all this, remove all the soft tissue. And then we'll see what we got. All right, so this is the skull basically out of the ultrasonic cleaner after the OxyClean and the Simple Grain. And my pressure washer packed it in and it was just a piece of garbage pressure washer. So I wasn't able really to pressure wash it too much, but uh, it's actually pretty good. The uh, soft tissue came off it pretty well. I picked away at it a little bit and basically just from the cleaner and the detergent and all that. So that's looking pretty good. If you compare it to this skull, so this skull is an older one that basically I took the, all the muscle and the soft tissues off, but I didn't wash it at all. So this is kind of just the natural and that darkness is probably just, I guess, like oils and whatever that's in the bone. So you can see the contrast of, that's the difference of just washing with the degreasers in the cleaner. So what the next step is gonna be, put that to the side. So it's, it's, you know, it's pretty white and bleached. Oh, one thing I should point out, the nose did split here. And I don't know if that's a result of the ultrasonic cleaner 
if that's a result of it drying too fast, uh, if that would have happened anyway. I'm not sure. So that's a bit of a bummer. But uh, I don't know, maybe that's, maybe I washed it too long in the cleaner. I'm not sure. Nevertheless, what the next step will be is adding some peroxide and that should get this bone even whiter. And uh, you know how, like I actually kind of like the color of this, but we'll try this anyway and just see how, how white it'll get. This is just a cream peroxide uh, from Walmart. I think this was six bucks, so it's pretty cheap and there's quite a lot in there. So anyway, I'm gonna paint it on here basically, like slather it on. I'll wrap it in some plastic and leave it for a couple days and we'll see what happens. Now I don't have a cheap dollar store paintbrush, so I just cut up some uh, open cell foam and that should work just fine. And obviously I'm doing this on the hood of my samurai, which is probably not the smartest idea. But uh, the grip mat will save me, I think. And um, basically because my workbench is too cluttered with other stuff. Now, just for fun, and in the name of science, I'm gonna try this other head. So this one has been out for, uh, I can't remember, several years, probably at least two or three, maybe four years. And uh, it's so it's fully dried. And uh, as you can tell though, it's, it's got that kind of beige or brown tinge to it. So I'm gonna give it 30 minutes in the uh, cleaner and just see if it lightens it up at all. And uh, I probably won't peroxide this one. I do kind of just like the natural bone color, but I'll see if I can degrease it a bit. So again, what we'll do is some very precise measurements. Maybe a bit more. And uh, oh, incidentally, that silicone tape actually does work quite well. So you, you stretch it over. Um, it isn't reusable. It seems to get brittle after a while, but uh, it does seal up. And in a regular surface like that, it's quite good for. So anyway, and we go with that one. I might need a bit of extra water to top it off, but. Uh, We'll give it 30 minutes and see what it does. So I had it on for 30 minutes and uh, well, I made the water turn yellow. That's kind of gross. So, not exactly white. I don't know if it's worth doing it some more. Uh, I'll give it one more go. Okay, fast forward one day. I still have this one wrapped up in plastic and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be done with it today or give it another day for that peroxide to uh, keep working. But uh, this is what I wanted to show right now. So this is the other skull, the one that was sitting out for a few years. And uh, I just put it in the ultrasonic cleaner with the OxyClean and a bit of simple green. And it actually did lighten it up quite a bit. So it's, you know, just a bone color. But some of that grayness from 
the uh, around the antlers and the top of the skull there uh, is gone. So that worked pretty well actually. This one I'm gonna just leave it as is. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So that one is basically gonna be done, and then. I might leave that one more day. Yeah, I think I'll leave it one more day. It's cool in the garage, so it's probably gonna take a bit of time for it to work. The downside is I'm busy with other things for the next several days, but uh, anyway, hopefully we'll get back to it fairly soon. So here's the two skulls. On the left, this is the one that was completely washed and then completely bleached with peroxide. And on the right, this is the one that was completely washed but was not bleached. Okay, so here's the finished skull. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The peroxide bleached it out quite nice. The ultrasonic cleaner, you know, I think it did a pretty decent job of, uh, of uh, degreasing it, helping to clean the tissue off. If my pressure washer had been working better, I think it would have been even easier. But uh, overall, not too bad. So, I guess to answer my original question about this project would be, can you use an ultrasonic cleaner to clean a, a skull for a Euro mount? Uh, the answer is yes. It works fine definitely for this white tail. A larger animal like a moose or an elk, you need to have quite a bit bigger cleaner, uh, ultrasonic cleaner, but uh, overall worked pretty good. This split in the nose, I'm not too happy with that. I'm not sure if that was because I soaked it too long. Maybe it dried too fast. If you guys have any suggestions on how to prevent that, uh, please let me know. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.